Let this be a symbol of the fury borne by our countrymen towards Aurelia. Such was the impassioned speech of Laysath's commander, Diego Gaspar Navarro, as images of the Aurelian squadron's destruction over Cape Aubrey played in the background. A day later, his gravelly voice continued to echo through my hungover brain. October, one year after the cessation of the Democratic Republic of Laysath Civil War. After the Civil War, Laysath began to set their sights on their peaceful neighbor, the Federal Republic of Aurelia, claiming retribution for years of exploitation. The invasion suddenly began. With the ever-present threat of the cloaked airborne fortress, Glapnir, looming overhead, there was little time to react to the few concerns raised about the validity of the war. Such was the speed at which all of Aurelia fell under Laysath's control. Well, not everything has fallen into their hands, but it's only a matter of time. Looking out over the capital, Gaius Tower is both home to Laysath Central Command and the very symbol of its power. It was originally intended to be a symbol of Aurelia's peace. <laughs> How ironic. As I looked up at the sun traveling the same old path across the sky, the rays burned my tired eyes. Damn it. I just wish I could finish covering this completely one-sided war and head back home. I'll never get used to being in the Southern Hemisphere with its backward seasons. The Glapinger was last confirmed heading southeast across the Puna Plain. However, we lost all trace of it shortly after. Unfortunately, Aurelia's information network can provide no further details at this time. We'll just have to take what we can get. The airborne fortress Glapenir nearly wiped out our entire attack force. Even with you, sir, our remaining aerial attack strength is severely limited. We no longer have the necessary manpower or supplies to pursue Glapenir. In addition, there are reports of enemy forces gathering at Fort Patterson. If we don't move soon, it will only be a matter of time before they have the attack behind. Given the situation, we are left with only one on land and a half. On the Luna Plains lie between Aubrey Base and Fort Patterson. Laysap forces have hastily constructed a resupply base to house the large quantity of supplies needed to support their troops. Attack Luna Base. Destroy all park bombers and base facilities. Take away the enemy's ability to fight. If you succeed, we'll gain an important football for an attack on Fort Patterson. And with more, we'll gain the supplies we need when we fight. Unless I succeed in taking his base, that's it for our supplies. Please don't go on first.
Retreating Lesaf forces have abandoned Pune base. The base, including all provisions stored there, now belong to us. Now we'll be able to provide backup support for our troops.